Welcome to Robitech. Uh, Robitech is a show dedicated to PC building, tech deals, tech news, uh, just overall shenanigans. So today we are building um, a awesome PC, uh, all Arctic, in what is essentially the case of the year, the P500A. Let's talk about parts. First and foremost, I'm pretty excited about this. Making its Robitech debut on the channel uh, is the Asus RG Strix B550A Gaming. For our CPU, we're using the Ryzen 7 5800X. Uh, this is a eight core, 16 thread processor. I know a lot of people have been asking, Roby, when are you gonna use Samsung? Well, we're gonna use Samsung today. We're using the uh, Samsung 970 Evo M.2 drive. And then also I'm pretty excited because we're gonna use a CK Barracuda for memory. Oh, everybody loves these. And that's right, it's the G-Skill Triton Royal Z. A-I-A-I-U. We haven't got to use this one, another Roby Tick debut here. This is the Fantex Glacier One 240. For our power supply, we've got the white gold V2 um, from uh, Cooler Master. Uh, you know, the one that everybody loves to see. Uh, the Gigabyte Vision RTX 3080. We're using the white Fantex P500A. Okay, let's start building. Dun 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 Let's walk you guys through this incredibly awesome looking motherboard today. Up here in the top left, these are called uh, the EPS power connectors. We've got an eight pin and a four pin. Uh, over here, we've actually got fan headers. We've got a light gray one and a dark one. That's not always the case on every motherboard. Uh, right next to this is a four pin, uh, 12 volt, uh, basically RGB header. Um, here in the center, this is actually your RAM. Uh, it's dual channel. This is your AM4 socket. Over here on the right is actually your uh, ATX power supply. Down here at the bottom is your front panel connector. You've got another fan header right here. You've got two USB 2, an additional fan header. There is your RGB header for um, your five volt addressable. And then you've also got a, uh, you've got your HD audio right here. And let's install our CPU and go from there. Okay, so we're gonna take this and put it to 90 degrees. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our CPU, grab it from the edges on the side. Uh, trying not to touch the pins, you just wanna touch the IHS. You're just gonna stick that in on its side like this and it'll slip right in. And then you can, you can wiggle it a little bit. Wiggle it just to make sure it's in really solidly and then you just push down that tension arm and then boom, your uh, CPU is installed. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna install our RAM. There's a little slot on what's called the printed circuit board. You just wanna line that up like so, just like that. And then apply even pressure and boom. Get a solid click, click, click. And just make sure you get a nice solid click. Next up, we're gonna put in our M.2s. Okay, let's get this opened up here. Okay, we're gonna screw both of these on. What we're doing is there's different standoff links, uh, 22, uh, it's 2260, 2245, and 2280. Those are, those, uh, those are associated with the length of the M.2s, in this case, 80 millimeters. So we're basically just putting our standoffs in at the 2280 point. We're gonna grab our M.2s now. And then they have a little slot in the PCB as well. We're just gonna slide those in like that. Make sure they're in there solidly. Our M.2s are completely installed. I'm really excited about this, uh, this AIO, by the way. This AIAIO. Okay, here's all our bracket stuff. Okay, what we're doing is just screwing on our brackets right now. It's time to build the AI AIO. So we're gonna put this in like so, which means fans go like this. Okay, cool. Yeah, there we go. We're gonna be able to daisy chain all of this RGB together, which is good. Now, let's grab our case. We're gonna lay this down now and finish our pump installation. That, our AIO is pretty much hooked up. Now we can focus on the cable management and all that stuff.
to zoom in and show you guys what I plugged in. This cable right here is uh, fan headers for all of the AIO. Then down here, we have our USB 3 at a 90 degree angle. Uh, down here at the very bottom, we've got our single front panel connector. And then we've got a RGB. This is our RGB for everything. And then finally at the very end, we have our HD audio. And then that is all the front panel. So now take the time to get it all cable managed on the back. Because right now it looks like a rat's nest. And there you go. Now you've got a very clean looking build. Okay, let's get our GPU in. That's gonna go right here. right there. Let's get our cables in and then go from there. Let's turn this over and uh, let's get our PSU in. Everybody say PSU time. Motherboard power. Okay, next one, we got a single VGA. Remember, uh, these are high capacity. There we go. Okay, so there you go. There's our beautiful white PSU. Take our bracket off here. Okay. Here we go, guys. Moment of truth. And there it is. I super appreciate you guys hanging out with me every freaking Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, starting at 5.30 p.m. and uh, hanging out and playing some games with me as well. Thanks for hanging out.